the Husky Tracks news. Today is Thursday, September 30th. Next Wednesday, we'll be attending an all-school assembly. The presenter is Rachel's Challenge. Let's take a look at a video clip talking about Rachel's Challenge and who she was. person who just you could automatically recognize that they were a good person. Rachel was always talking about you know the fact that she was gonna die young and on top of that that she was gonna make an impact on the world. Just out of the blue she goes I'm gonna die young. I had this vision of the eyes of a girl and out of those eyes were coming tears and the tears were pouring to the ground. I saw her drawing and she said to me well, Mrs. Carruthers, it's not finished, but I was inspired to draw this. Rachel's challenge is about choices and making a change. We hope you will leave the assembly with a positive experience. If you have any questions or concerns, please see Ms. Sherpin or Ms. Fawcett in the main office and Mrs. Wilkin in the counseling office. Aloha. In today's announcements, today is Beach Day slash Hawaiian Day. And tomorrow is Spirit Day with an af afternoon pep fest and a homecoming game at 7. The homecoming dance will be following the game. Let's show our school spirit to round out the rest of the homecoming week. Stay warm at all of our Husky activities. As the, weather, as the cold weather is just coming around the corner, preparing by purchasing a bleacher blanket. The blankets are $35 and will be sold before the homecoming football game this Friday. Stay warm and show your true colors, black and gold. The Husky Hut has football beads, apparel, and other spirit items to show your pride. Stop by and check out their merchandise. Beads are 50 cents each or four for $1.50. Football beads are $3 each or two for $5. Buy them now before they're gone. Purchase your homecoming button for $5 during lunch. This will get you into the football game on Friday. Every day during lunch, students will be selling homecoming buttons, dance tickets, and flowers. Students can pick up their t-shirts during lunch. T-shirts are $10, dance tickets and buttons are $5, and flowers are $1. Attention Link Crew Leaders, our next meeting will be on Tuesday, October 5th at 7.15 a.m. in C205. Hola, Spanish club members. The soccer game is this coming Saturday, October 2nd at 11.30 a.m. Please sign up outside A106 to bring something to share. See Senor Schifferly with any questions. Attention any junior or seniors interested in planning, planning this year's prom. Our first meeting will be held on Thursday, October 7th at 7.20 in P206. Come help Mrs. T plan an event to remember. Here's Kirsten with today's weather. Today's weather is nice and sunny with northwest winds from 7 to 14 miles per hour. The temperature is a high of 68 and a low of 58 degrees. Tomorrow will be sunny in the morning with increasing clouds and a chance of sprinkles in the afternoon. Later in the night, the temperature will be in the 50s. Back to you, Justin. Here's Mark with today's sports. Thank you, Justin. Attention, boys lacrosse team and those interested in playing lacrosse this fall. There will be a brief informational meeting Friday at 2.45 in the North Gym. 
The varsity girls tennis team defeated Asso yesterday 6-1 to and winning for the Huskies were Destin Lee at number one singles, Olivia Vogel at number three singles, Kirsten Meester at number four singles, Faith Lee and Lauren Munson at number one doubles, Katie Johnson and Rachel Verbrugge at number two doubles, and Christy Cook and Gina Johnson at number three doubles. The girls host Champion Park today at 3.30 p.m. Today in sports, the cross-country teams at Buffalo at 4. Cur girls tennis takes on Champlain Park at home at 4. Soccer plays at Maple Grove. Girls at 5 and guys at 7. Girls swimming faces Champlain Park at Jackson Middle School at 6. And there is a varsity volleyball game tonight at Blaine at 7. The Powder Puff game was played last night. In the semifinal games, the Bears and the Vikings faced off, as well as the Lions and the Packers. The Vikings beat the Bears by a score of 8-0. Kara Hofschild had an inter interception and a touchdown in the game. The Lions and the Packers went into triple overtime. In the end, the Packers won by a score of 14-6. So in the championship, the Vikings and the Ly Packers faced off. The Packers won by a score of 12-0. Danny McNown threw for two touchdowns, one to Maggie Scott and the other to Abby Cleveland. The Packers attributed their victories to superior coaching as well as superior play by the girls. Congratulations to everyone that played. The Twins were finally able to snap their five-game losing streak, beating the Kansas City Royals 4-2. Delman Young joined some elite company, becoming only the fifth player in Twins history to hit 20 home runs, 40 doubles, and 100 RBIs in a single season. Back to you, Justin. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you tomorrow at Dover High School. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brad Ostendorf. And I'm Aaron Pettit. And we are your junior homecoming royalty for 2010. I can't forget the time or place where we just met She's just a girl for me And I want all the world to see we met Mmm I'd have been another day I might have looked the other way And I'd have never been a world But as it is, I'll dream of her tonight Die, 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 die. Falling, yes I am falling And she keeps calling